In this video, we will talk about dialogues in Windows Form applications. So what is a dialog? Well, a dialog is a custom graphical user interface that allows users to input or select complex values. So there are some values that, when, that the user would enter, like a, maybe a number value, where other controls exist for easy entry. So a text box is a very convenient control for entering string data. Maybe a numeric up down is a convenient uh, control to, to um, input number values. But what if you wanted to enter in a value like a color? A color is more of a complex type of data value. And so dialogues offer an easier alternative to entering certain types of data. So I have here a couple dialogue examples. So this first example is a color dialog. So if the, the, uh, the color dialog allows the user to click around and choose a color value, or they can go and click on a define custom colors, and another part of the dialog opens up and allows the user to manipulate the color wheel. So this is a dialog. It, it is a graphical user interface that helps the user select a color value. From this dialog, the user can either choose a good value and click OK, or they can cancel out and decide, ah, I don't want to choose a color after all. This next example is a font dialog. A font is another example of a complex value. So a font has a, a type, a name, a style, a size, there are effects, etc. So having to try to have the user enter in a font manually might be tricky. But this dialog makes it a little bit easier. They can select from a bunch of values, and again, they can choose, OK, I like this font, or never mind. This third example is an example of an open file dialog. This is a dialog that allows the user to try to select a valid path to a file. Having to type in a long, complex path to a file on a computer can be uh, cumbersome. And so the open file dialog facilitates getting that path by allowing the user to see the current folder layout of your uh, your machine and select through folders and find correct files and choose to whether select them or not. So using a dialog. So dialog objects have both properties and methods. Typically when you are interacting with a dialog object you are manipulating the properties of that object. If I go back to the previous slide, the color dialog object has a color property associated with it. And when the user selects different colors, they are changing the color property value of this dialog. The font dialog has a font property. And as the user is selecting different values in the dialog, they are changing the font property of this dialog. And for the open file dialog, there is a file name property associated with an open file dialog and as the user is selecting different file names and file paths they are changing they are actively changing the file name property of the open file dialog so as the user is interacting with the dialog they are changing the properties of that of that object there each dialog has a a method called show dialog and what this method does is when it is called from the object it creates that window it spawns that window when the user is done interacting with the window, the, the, dialog, uh, the show dialog method will return with either a value dialog result.cancel. The dialog result.cancel value is returned if the user closes the window or hits the cancel button. Or a dialog result.ok value is returned if the user selects a valid value and then selects the OK or open option. So the show dialog method, when, when it is called, it creates the window and it returns with some dialog result enumerated type. To add a dialog object to your Windows form, if you open your toolbox, you can go down and there should be a dialogs option. And there are several dialogs that are available. A color dialog, font dialog, open file dialog, save file dialog, folder browse dialog. And you should know that you can create your own custom dialogs as well. But we will maybe get to that in a future video. If you select a dialog that you want 
for example, the color dialog and drag it onto your form, what happens is you do not see the dialog in the form, but you're going to see something drop down below it in what is called the tool tray of your form of your design view. And we see that when you drag this color dialog control onto our form, we are instantiating a color dialog one object. From this color dialog one object, I can then start calling the show dialog method and and go through the uh, the work for selecting a, a color. Typical dialog usage follows this, this same pattern. All dialogs kind of follow the same pattern here. First, whatever your object is, whether it's an open file dialog or a color dialog or font dialog or custom dialog, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to call the show dialog method. When you call the show dialog method from your object, you create your dialog interface. Now that, that interface is going to exist until the user selects an option and selects OK or cancels out of the window. Once, once the user is done um, interacting with your dialog, the show dialog method will return a dialog result value. It will return OK, dialog result OK if the user selected a file, a valid file, or it will, it will return dialog result cancel if the user chose any of the cancel options. So when you use this object, you call the show dialog method to spawn the window. And then once the method is, once the user is done with the window, then we can write some logic that tests to see did the dialog, did the show dialog method return with a dialog result OK value? So this is the condition that the user selected a valid option on the dialog. And if they did, typically we want to go to that object, our dialog object, find the properties that are interesting to us and extract the value, whoops, sorry, extract the value that the user has selected. So for example, if the user selected a valid color and clicked the uh, OK button, then we would go to our color dialog dot color property and extract that value and do something with it. If it was the font dialog, we would, from the font dialog object, we would extract the dot font property value and, and do something with it. For an open file dialog object, we might extract the file name property, which contains whatever file was selected. So this is the pattern we're going to follow when using dialogs.